I want to make sure that we get into just the J. Bullshit. Cole shit. I want to make sure we're able to spend as much time as we want on it in case, like I said, anybody has any strong feelings. Uh, so if you guys are a hip hop fan out there, then there's no way that you haven't heard about Kendrick originally dissing J. Cole and uh, Drake, and that was on the future album, uh, We Don't Trust You, and um, or I Don't Trust You, maybe is what it's called. I don't remember if it's we or I, but either way, the, uh, uh, the he, he dissed off that. The song was like that, and that just went crazy. So like I said, even if you didn't go out of your way to listen to the song, I'm sure you heard it on the social media platform or something. Uh, so following that, we actually got a response from J. Cole, an entire album actually, uh, which is called I Might Delete This Later or something along those lines. And uh, the last track on there is Seven Minute Drill, and he aims back at Kendrick, and we get a diss. Now, Fire. yeah, so now today, or actually it might have been yesterday or the day before, uh, at the Dreamville Festival, uh, he was on stage, and he actually addressed this, and he ended up apologizing for uh, for for the song in general, said he's gonna take it off streaming platforms, um, and just say he didn't feel good about it. And have you have has everybody seen the video? I've seen part of the video. I see the video. I did hear the word. I I, I saw where he apologized, and okay. and then and the basis uh, like, like oh the apology video. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he apologized. Oh. Yeah, well, that's that's the gist of it. Is that uh uh basically what he's saying is that uh, he didn't feel right doing it. He wanted to get back on what specifically one of the things that he says is he wanted God to put him back on his path um, and stop basically wasting time with negativity and so on okay. and so forth. Um, and he said it made him feel like back in the day when he wasn't doing shit he was supposed to be doing. Basically. No, 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 no. You felt right. You did the right thing for rap music. And uh, the fact that you backtracked uh, with your tail between your legs is very sad. I'm with yeah. 50 Cent. Go ahead and give me a call next. So someone can get in your ear and, and give you that good gospel because yeah. here's the thing, man. Rap music right now is uh, pretty dog shit. Uh, it's all terrible. shit. If we're talking about dog shit. the artistic value of the music, we're not seeing um, what we saw when Kendrick and Cole dissed each other a few years ago. People forget they just they just diss each other like maybe five or six years ago. What do you mean? I don't remember that. So what? How did he each other? Jokes. What do you mean? Well, give me. Well, tell me. Like, well, what do you J. Mean? Cole. I remember. remember he dissed like a three or four people. He's been doing. J. Cole is known for dissing people in music to spark the rap industry. You know what I'm saying? Back into you know what I'm saying people putting out good music, not mm. just music for money. You know what I'm saying? And then you had Kendrick that dissed motherfuckers and had Meek Mill getting crazy. You know, it's just what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, okay. Like, okay, right? When we see rap beefs and like gangster music, street music, you know what I'm saying? I, I love that when Pooh Shiesty makes a diss track, right? Okay, cool. But the problem is with that is it's going to get violent. What I loved about the J. Cole and Kendrick shit is it never had to get anything, it never had to go anywhere further than music. Now, with him apologizing, it's just like, bro, like, what do you, did you kill his sister? kill his family like what 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 is it well it, it, but the thing so, is it could have i'm not saying it would have but just because we view those artists as people that wouldn't get violent themselves there's people around them that feel yes. very serious about them and For like real. uh that's one of the things that j cole was also saying by the way is that he had a million people hitting him up basically saying like oh we're at war now this kind of shit he's good like, he just didn't feel good about it oh man that's um, real life so like like again like like as a rap fan you want the beef like right. like because again because it inspires great music mm -hmm. and that's what we we were hoping when we talked about like is drake gonna respond is j cole gonna respond like and we said like j cole shouldn't beat drake to the response but j cole did and he came out with a with a night it was a good track it was, honestly it's a hit it's it's good it's, i love it but hey like i understand on human level where it's like hey listen maybe kendrick took it more personally than anticipated I mean, may, maybe again, like the streets, like like where he's from. Maybe yeah, like like people who who look at Kendrick as a god, like took it more personally than it was supposed to be, and and, and instead of it being like just like a hip hop thing, it became personal. So he's saying, hey, listen, publicly, like like fine, like I'll I'll be the bigger man, I'll walk it back, like that's fine, like and and I'll just be on my peace shit. So it's like I understand the backlash. I understand people that say, say it's pussy. I like like it's fair. It's a fair criticism. It's only pussy because like. Like Kendrick is not like the thing is, is like Kendrick's been in rap beefs before. Like you don't hear that motherfucker apologizing. For no, yeah, no. Says. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Drake's been in rap beefs. Motherfuckers say shit all the time. They don't apologize for what they said. They just squash the rap beef. You know what I mean? For him to sit there and apologize for something you said, bro, is really just kind of odd. And I'll say I didn't really like the diss track. I felt like he could have went a lot harder on the diss track. And well, it was kind of mild in the first place. But then to apologize for a mild diss track. You know what I'm saying? That was gonna spark the rap industry to yeah. make great music. 
I Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's a knockout. That was it. I'm setting the roadcaster back up, so we're about to be going with audio here again. The computer just shut off, so we're gonna be right back live. Y'all get here again. Technique, he's just slower, not as much power. Like Deontay Wilder would have been a better fight for him. He's that was all right, right, right here. Yeah, Deontay versus no, well, Francis would have been would, that, that, that would have been slugger versus slugger. That would have been a nice fight. Well, see, that's the thing with both Wilder and Joshua now because they've been getting their ass kicked so much. Is now they're actually oh, going to Wilder's change. only lost to Tyson. No, he's no, lost. He no, lost he, a few times, he lost a few times. Oh, so he did Joshua. just lose. They both, like they both lose a bunch yeah. of fights. The Man, thing is with them, he is fell off. they're both yeah. they're just power punchers. So now they're actually going and they're training with like Floyd Mayweather's trainer and uh, Earl Spence trainer Derek James and shit like that. So yeah. they're actually learning now. Dante's almost forty though. So. I think he's well, he started more. late, man. Yeah, yeah, he started in his thirties. Yeah. All right, let's get back into it. So this is uh, we're back in here sitting politics. You already know what time it is. This is a little break, so let me make sure to make sure to tell y'all uh, to go ahead and like, share, subscribe this thing. Make sure it goes out to as many people as possible. Um, trying to make sure that we're live on everything. So I'm booting this thing back up, so it just shows me the Twitter just went good. Um, so yeah, That's make Twitter. sure make sure you show some love, support, uh, share this with somebody, anybody that likes. Really, any we cover all kinds of stuff. So if you if they like sure. politics, they like sports, they like seeing like pop culture stuff get discussed we're definitely in here we're discussing Ran it random bullshit um, life and consistently us. consistently giving you guys uh uh Content. Let's see. Okay, so we're good. We're 100 percent in here. So let's go ahead, and go. So we mm -hmm. were just talking about the uh, the J. Cole. J. Cole and the Kendrick stuff. So I want to make sure, uh, Deuce. I think it was you, brother. Yep. If you have, uh, uh, if you want, if you remember where you were at, do you remember? Um. So yeah, no. I was just basically saying, um, with Cole, he basically started a what was supposed to be a great summer for music. And uh, he ruined my summer. He, he definitely not just my summer. He ruined everybody's summer. Yeah. Um. Probably took away a summer album. You know. I mean. I mean. You know, I mean. Summer song track. Whatever. Still Drake. 
the thing is, is uh, Kendrick's going to respond. Kendrick ain't going to apologize. Pussy, puss, puss. <laughs> do you think that? Uh, so do you think that the he niggas around Kendrick Angle? Do you think? He, do you think he responds to this even though he already sent out a diss track and then the response got apologized for? Does he need to respond? If I'm Kendrick, I'm going for his throat. He's going to talk about the the apology. I'm yeah, going to end his career for apologizing. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and 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 this is kind of like 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 where like they treat that nigga like Kanye. <laughs> I was interested in the in the beef and like like how it was going to go because it's two different styles. Like like yeah. again like Cole is is more relaxed. So that's where it's like any diss track outside of like lyrically, it's not going to sound like a real true diss. I guess like yeah. he doesn't. Like, I, don't I, I, I don't think he raps as angry as like Kendrick you is angry. Like, I like I like but, Cole though because you hear everything he says. He does, well, and we saw and, him. But, we saw him this. We've seen him this people. Yeah. He dissed No Name. He dissed uh, uh, Lil Pump. He destroyed Lil Pump yeah, without even. Well, Pop Kodak Pop was never going to oh, respond. The NBA Young Boy diss. Well, I don't actually know. About remember that. the NBA Young Boy was like, uh, if I was going to diss you, know, he said something like, I, you would know it. Whatever. Did you think uh, that 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 uh, seven that the uh, uh, this this was, was 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 lyrically like bad? Like, like you don't think it was good lyrically? First person shooter. I thought it was. I just thought it was soft and it's holding back. Even against uh, Lil Pump, where he's not like saying, "I'm gonna kill you, Lil Pump. You're a bitch." He doesn't <laughs> have to do that. He was just like talking to him and literally, like he was his fucking father. He basically right. told him what happened yeah. in his career. He did. Yeah, but yeah, it, and that was that was vicious. So was that first person shooter with Drake? Yeah. He J Cole literally disses NBA Young Boy in that verse. He literally has a whole verse. That he just disses that man in. But are those are those yeah, more personal you, beefs than what the, like this was just supposed to be like an orchestrated rap beef between someone that you respect? Was it orchestrated though? Well, well was, I, I I think that that the original song that he did with Drake was more of like a nod to, to Kendrick, not really a diss. Kendrick kind of took it as like a hey, he's saying it's an NBA young boy diss. No, the, the first person shooter is NBA. Yeah, that's but what, but, that's but, what he's talking about because that's when they say that's when Cole says something about it being big three. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah so 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 that's what I'm saying. I don't think yeah. he was dissing Kendrick. I diss yeah, I thought he was giving Kendrick a nod. And then Kendrick right. came back and, and was kind of like a hey listen fuck a like you said fuck a big three it's just a it's just a me like and he basically he's saying like hey listen Drake you're cute and all you can be NJ like king of pop hey, yeah. I'm the real talent I'm like Prince mm -hmm. so and, and it's like I like it's I been a fact, though. yeah you know he is and I felt like right. he took that as like a hey listen I'm, this is my MJ moment I'm gonna show that hey fuck that Kobe mentality all that shit right and then kind of J Cole was kind of like okay I'll play along with this. And kind of gave like a rebuttal where he wasn't going to be personal. He was just kind of giving us kind of like a track. Yeah, that's where, his fault though. Well, right. But and then yeah. I, that's where it's like maybe it was taken more of like a hey, are you really riding out with this? And again, I I want to apologize. I would just tell Kendrick, hey, listen, I'm doing this for the music. Like literally, what's was wild is he yeah. responded, and Kendrick dissed him first. Really, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I agree with you. I think the big th the whatever mention of that in the first person shooter that was supposed to be like just kind of like a uh, appreciation moment. But it also I, it I, also I towards that, Drake. Though. Well, let me just finish what I'm saying. I feel you, and I'm happy to hear that. But uh, I think that was not a diss. I think that was more of a moment for him to like acknowledge like right. that they're the greatest of the era. And there's a little bit of which a flex. Is which is true. Which is true. I mean, I think that honestly, I think something like this though calls that into question. This was your moment like to engage and literally in this conversation from a skill standpoint and you 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 basically bowed out so this is a from in hip-hop is something that you can't remove the competitive aspect from no you're right that's where people that's yeah where people try to distill that out of it and try to mature it up and i'm not talking about you i'm talking about more like the pro arguments i've seen on twitter where people will kind of be like oh you guys are grown ass people and you want to see a rap battle give me a break it's like bro Culture, it's rap like, yeah, what are we doing? Are we going to sit here and act like rap is like super <laughs> a mature thing? Right. Like, give me a fucking break. We're shaking hands. This is what it's about. No, yeah, this is, is what it's I, about. Oh, I yeah. Think, I want to hear your I, pushback. I think J. Cole, though, remember. the problem with J. Cole is, and this is part of the reason why I like his disses. Um, I don't like Seven Man Drill, but the the old disses with Cole, what he does so well is he, uh, he kind of disses you, but then he does it in a subtle way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the big three bar, we're taking it as, okay. Like he's basically, you know what I'm saying, trying to throw props to the other two. But in his mind, he probably was saying that, like, yeah, like y'all motherfuckers thought y'all were y'all were above me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Yeah. I'm, I'm right here with y'all. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't even have to drop as much music as y'all drop, but I'm right here. You know what okay. I mean? So but if that if, so, if I'm Kendrick, yeah. And I'm hearing this motherfucker say big three. 
Nigga, you ain't dropping seven years. That, well, no, he he has That's dropped recently. Angry though. mindset. Also, he <laughs> dropped recently. But I'm saying Kendrick no, could be like. This. I'm saying Jay Cole drops way more than Kendrick. That'd be a crazy thing for Kendrick to hold against somebody when he doesn't drop yeah, four for hours, once every four years, years or whatever it is. Like, this one fucking on my mind. I feel he could be saying that, but I think it is fair for Jay Cole to say, and that's why I think it's fair for us to take it at face value and say yeah. it's a situation where he's paying homage to the three of them. Also, you add on top of that, I don't think I'll speak for myself. Yeah. I didn't expect this to happen because. F- and this is, I think, why J. Cole held back, and he pretty much said this in his apology, is because Kendrick and J. Cole had a close relationship. They were supposed to, like, release an album together and shit when they were coming up. Um, so there's some relationship there. So I figured that that would be kind of like a boundary that would always be respected, to be honest. Um, so when that line got crossed, there was always vitriol between Kendrick and uh, Drake, at least since he did the fucking I'm an Alien track. I don't know if y'all remember that, but on Take Care, there's, a int- there's an interlude uh on there and it's all kendrick lamar this is one of the biggest like moments for kendrick lamar at the beginning of his career he got a whole interlude there's drake's not even on the fucking track i don't think and it's just him actually talking about like resenting Drake. it's a great i mean it's kendrick lamar it's a great song um and uh the song actually is about it's actually wild i forgot about it's about resentment the whole time is him he's like talking about like drake's the same age as me and he's going crazy and him just talking about how much he like kind of doesn't fuck with him in a way um and he's just exploring that kind of feeling of resentment either way. But um, uh, so, so yeah, with the and then from there, you have several disses, several subliminals that Drake has thrown at Kendrick, that Kendrick has thrown at Drake. You have the BT cipher where uh, Kendrick's whole verse is dissing Drake in that all subliminal, though, where he's like, he says something like, I'll tuck a sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes or some shit like that. That's supposed, <laughs> that's supposed to be Drake. That's, um, cool. that's how Cole be doing it, too. Subtle yeah. blows, man. Yeah, well, and I think that's how a lot of them do it when they don't want to engage in this all out warfare like last time we talked about this it was just me and paul actually i believe it was me and you talking about this where we were talking about it like as a cold war we were using that analogy where there's like we know there's tension you know what i'm saying but neither of us he he really literally each of us are waiting on the other one to make the first move to just go all out well that happened kendrick did that kendrick without literally saying drake and j cole he made it very clear who he was talking about. very clear he (laughs) made that move (laughs) now you have that nigga as soon as he apologized said if you don't take that shit down you pussy (laughs) you ruining the music and the money well and one thing that you know and i I don't think money i personally don't think it's that i I do believe j cole's reasoning and i'll give you a little bit more of what so if you guys listen to his this you know that one of the things that he did in there was he kind of shit on some of Kendrick's albums. And yes, he was like yeah, uh, yeah. overrated first or whatever. One, second one, third one, yeah. yeah, so well, he said like the first one's a classic. They said To Pip a Butterfly, which is the second album. Second, like, you know, official, official release. Um, he said was like overrated or whatever. Yeah, and then the third one was massive and then the fourth one was like, yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah but specifically it's the second tragic. one, the fourth one was tragic. specifically yeah. the second one because there ended up being a lot of discourse around this online where people were like, To Pip a Butterfly uh, was basically graded on a curve because the black community was really... Um, like uh what's the word on what's the third album good son bad city no good kid bad city is the first one then it's uh this the pivot butterfly damn um I don't think that. I think it's damn. Damn, right? yeah, I think so. I think it's damn, and then uh, uh, Mr. Morale. Yeah, damn, they're good. Mr. Morale. Yeah, yeah. actually, I like Mr. Morale a lot too. So I all these, that, I love. got that summer album. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> that's that's what, them. But that's why, like, one of these guys speaks to all of them. Like Kendrick Lamar is one of my favorite artists of all time. In this, in this generation, I don't think there's been an artist that has spoken to me and that I've related to more than Kendrick Lamar in any genre, literally. And I know that same thing applies to, for a lot of people for J. Right. Cole. Like these people really have. A Fan, have fan bases that have connected with them because they're so vulnerable so and so skilled like that shouldn't be left out that's why this is such a unique opportunity like it's so rare that we li- literally get the opportunity where like it's in, it's sad to bring this up but it's like tupac biggie uh like maybe you could say maybe